And in this video tutorial I want to show you how to set lettering animation with this cool bounce effect. And of course, before we start, I remind you to hit a comment, drop a like, of course subscribe on my channel if you think that you can find something useful here. And of course I'm waiting for you uh, in my Instagram where I post even more uh, tips and toots. So let's go to my clean project and start animating. Okay, here is my clean composition and as you can see I prepared the project and I put each letter to new layer. And not just uh, each le letter, yeah, but also each, as you can see, let me show you, each line. Second line and third line. And I did it for each uh, letter, yeah, so you can... You can see why I need it. Uh, just because I'm going to use uh, Trim Pass and then use this animation as a mask, uh, I need this um, uh, structure because uh, if I use just one layer for a whole uh, letter, uh, I will have some ashes uh, here, here, and uh, yeah, for, for this letter is enough two ashes. Yeah, uh, so. I did it just to avoid any ashes. And uh, after that, when you prepared your letters, uh, you need to select all layers for this letter and put it to the new precompose. Let's move it and call it G. Oops, sorry. G. Okay, cool. And I will show you the main principle uh, on this letter, yeah? And you can set other any other actually letters using these uh, methods uh, and uh, of course find uh, the project file on my Patreon and see how I set other letters. Nothing complex, if you can do one letter you can do other. Okay, great. Uh, let's go to our precompose with this G letter and I need pen tool to create some, some shape, yeah? I will do it like this and I don't need any fill but I really need this uh, stroke yeah set it in this way to overlap uh, the main uh, shape of uh, the letter yeah let's add some color Okay, great. I, I, I think it's uh, cool. And let's do the same for another part of the letter. Okay, great. And one more. And I hope you mentioned that uh, I draw everything in separate layers again to apply a mask then. So, yeah. Okay. Just without any rush. Nice, I love it. Um, I also add some color code to uh, for quickly. Uh, how to say again? I don't know. I completely forget all <laughs> all English words. Uh, just to see where I have mask and where I have my uh, strokes. Yeah. Uh, when it's done we need to add trim pass you can find it here add and trim pass cool and i need to animate the end parameter yeah let's do it okay cool and let's duplicate it to another layers Select trim pass and duplicate. Okay, cool. And now we need to set correct timing and of course spacing for this uh, animation. So what I mean, I need this line should be first. And it starts really smooth, I guess. So let's change graphics of the speed um, yes and when it's finished we need to add 
this line yeah and it's here and of course i need to create some moves out of the animation yeah so i changed the graphics yeah great and what about this part let me think it should start here i guess yeah and let's change again graphics let's check how it looks yeah perfect okay when it's done and you completely satisfied with this mask so we need to set uh to apply um effect okay select our first uh, stroke and here i need set made effect and here i need to change uh, the mask it should be the first layer yeah cool and apply another set made effect and change of course mask choose uh, this time this part and for the last shape i need this this part use as a mask let's see how it works again but before i need to turn off these layers uh, original layers okay cool i guess i can um make it a bit faster i, I think yeah why not let's see yes great now i came back to the main composition and here I need to add some bounce effect and for this effect uh, I'm going to use uh, puppet tool and here be careful because we need to create uh, a correct mesh yeah for the whole letter not just uh, for this part or this part uh, the whole letter so when it appears completely appear appears uh, only in this statement you need to add some pins so i need pins uh, i guess here uh here uh let it be here uh even here maybe this one and for the last part so if you if you just try to uh change the position of these pins you can see that we can um control this mesh uh, the mesh of the letter let's see what we have uh, we have um we have different keyframes and uh, i need to animate some of these keyframes uh what i need to animate exactly this one this one and this one it will be enough for our bounce effect i promise so we need to animate it like this just stretch a bit our um our letter so yeah other keyframes i don't need so i can delete it let's do it and also i need to apply keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes okay nice and this animation should be really really short and it should start at the beginning yeah let's see yeah maybe here and for bounce effect uh, exactly for bounce effect i will apply this cool expression you can find it um in internet but if you're too lazy i will share it uh, in the description so you can find it there as well uh here you can change these parameters and see how um, how to say um you can change this value and at the same time uh, rule how your bounce will look like yeah so it will be kind of small bounce effect or maybe uh too obvious 
let's add for other pins and for the last. So yeah, you, you can see we have these bounce effects right now. And also we need to change some timing for this pins animation. Mm, just because it's too much here yeah, right now. Turn off the mesh. Okay, let it be at the beginning and a bit faster animation. We need to change a bit our bounce, maybe like this, let's see. And for another one. Okay, yeah. So you can play with these parameters and get exactly what you want as usual. To sum up this tutorial, I could say that if you can set only one letter, you obviously can set any other uh, letters in this um, way. And obviously this method works uh, for any phones. Just in case, if you want to know how I've set this never word uh, animation, you can find the tutorial similar with similar graphics on my YouTube channel or below in the description, I will uh, drop a link. And of course, uh, you can drop a comment, hit the like, subscribe on my channel as usual. Yeah, I remind you that you can do it. It really helps me and you can support me as a creator if you like my content. Thanks for your time. Bye.